हेलो गाइस वी लर्न ऑल जनरेटर ऑप्शंस इन प्रीवियस थ्री सेशन बट इनफ्यूम लारावेल जनरेटर प्रोवाइड एडवांस ऑप्शंस एज वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एडवांस ऑप्शंस इन दिस सेशन एवरीथिंग इज बाय डिफॉल्ट कॉन्फिगर्ड इन कॉन्फिग फाइल व्हिच इज प्रोवाइड बाय जनरेटर व्हेन यू पब्लिश द इनफ्यूम टेम्पलेट basically these five options are useful when you generate scaffold sometime you need to generate some files in subdirectory and nested level directory that time you can do it in your project with customize config file you need to customize path so when you want to generate model in sub directory that time you need to customize model path in config file and you can generate it in sub folder so let's check where path is located in config file so let's check in editor in config file path is located here and all files path specified here so you can set all options path here like migration model data table repository routes api routes everything also a path means app directory base path means root directory uh, data tab uh, database path means database directory so let's take one small example with model i going to generate one scaffold and uh, i want to generate model under model directory with admin directory so let's try to generate i going to generate category scaffold first field is name database type is string html type is a text validation is a required i write misspell of required so let's try to generate again field is name data type is string html type is text validation is required exit the process we take a small example run migration you can see here everything is generated so let's check in editor you can check here category model generated under admin directory under model directory because we specified admin path in config file so model generate in under admin directory let's run project in browser refresh the browser let try to create one category you can check here crude is working fine so you can use it uh, use path option for customize your uh, nested level directory let's check second uh, option second option is a namespace you can specify namespace and customize the namespace in config file let's check in config file where located namespace namespace is located here and everything is by default configured but you want to customize you can do it you can set your namespace so let's try with controller 
I going to change uh, controller namespace. And create one more example with scaffold. String HTML type is a text. Run migration, you can check everything is created. So let's check in editor. Open the controller under control directory and check a namespace admin app slash http slash controller slash admin because we specified namespace in config file. So you can customize your namespace based on your requirement and based on your expectation. So Laravel configure uh, config file provide a lots of configuration and you can customize it. Third option is a scaffold template. Basically, uh, Infume generator provide to two theme support. First one is admin LT and second one is a core UI. So uh, you can set it based on your requirement and based on your choice. You need to find template option and you need to specify i am using here admin lt template uh, if you want to change with core ui then you need to install core ui as well and remove admin lt template package from composer so template is a third, op third option Fourth option is a uh, model extend space, sorry, class. And default value is a allocant. When you generate a scaffold and model generated with extended class, allocant. But if you want to use your custom class and you want to extend that custom class, so you can configure it with NPM generator allocant as a model so if you configure allocant one in config file and try to generate one scaffold and when your model is generated with use allocant one as a model and model extend in your generated model so you no need to change after generation of scaffold you can configure it and generate it in multiple scaffold without any required changes so this option is also helpful fifth option is a uh, add-ons basically laravel generator provide uh, three add-ons data table swagger test case also main so let's find add-on in config file swagger test case data table menu so you can enable and disable it based on your requirement in add-on section swagger used in api when if you want to generate you need to install swagger package as well and it by default false in test cases by default enable we already learn how to use data table with infium generator in previous video so you can see it if you want to enable and disable menu you also configure it here by default menu is enable but if you don't want menu then you can disable it here so let's check example with disable menu we make false and try to generate 
वन मोर स्के फोल्ड आर्टिकल एक्सिट दी प्रोसेस एंड रन अ माइग्रेशन वी प्रीवियसली जनरेटेड टू स्केपल वन इज कैटेगरी सेकंड इज पोस्ट एंड थर्ड वन इज आर्टिकल सो फर्स्ट टू मेनू इज जनरेटेड बट दिस वन इज स्कीप्ड बिकॉज वी मेक डिसेबल इन कन्फ्यूक फाइल सो लेट चेक इन एडिटर इन ओपन मेनू फाइल इन अंडर रिसर्च डिरेक्टरी यू कैन फाइंड इन ले आउट डिरेक्टरी यू कैन सी इयर ओनली टू टेब अवेबल इन मेनू first one is category and second one is post but third one is not there because we disable menu in configuration file so you can configure it based on your requirement based on your so is lots of configuration provided by generator let's run browser and say just two menu available and last one is skip so laravel generator provide a lots of option and very useful tool and very great tool thank you for watching a video